Olympic gold medalist Letzel Tabogo takes subtle dig at, arrogant and loud Noah Lyles after 200 minutes final. Please subscribe to RZ News for more updates. Olympic gold medalist Letzel Tabogo took a subtle dig at his American counterpart, Noah Lyles, after he was asked about becoming the face of men's track following his victory in the 200-meter final on Thursday. Tabogo, making his Olympic debut, stunned the field to win the gold in the men's 200-meter final after failing to medal in the 100-meter final earlier in the week. Lyles, who won gold in that race, settled for the bronze medal in the 200-meter before it was later revealed that he had contracted COVID-19 days earlier. After the race, the runner from Botswana sat alongside the defending silver medalist Kenneth Bednarik of Team USA to discuss his victory. Tabogo fielded several questions, including one about his aspirations in the sport and whether his goal is to become the face of men's track. Tabogo conceded that Lyles is better suited for that role, but he appeared to make a subtle dig at Lyles' disposition. I think for me, I can't be the face of the athletics because I'm not an arrogant or loud person like Noah Lyles, he told the room full of reporters. So, I believe Noah is the face of athletics. Bednarik did not respond to the remark made about his teammate. Lyles has not shied away from his excellence in the sport. After winning three gold medals in last year's World Championships, he received the backlash for suggesting that other athletes, like NBA players, didn't have the right to call themselves world champions. I have to watch the NBA Finals, and they have, world champion on their head. World champion of what? Lyles said at the time. The United States. Don't get me wrong. I love the US at times, but that ain't the world. That is not the world. Lyles won the United States' first gold medal in the men's 100 meter since 2004 this week and was hoping to further stake his claim as the sport's best by becoming the first American to win the 100 meter and 200 m since 1984. He was unable to do so, and he will likely not participate in Friday's 4x100 meter relay either. I believe this will be the end of my 2024 Olympics. It is not the Olympics I dreamed of, but it has left me with so much joy in my heart, Lyles wrote on social media Thursday. I hope everyone enjoyed the show. Whether you were rooting for me or against me, you have to admit you watched, didn't you? He signed off on the message, writing, Sincerely, your world's fastest man for the next four years.